Hey guys, it's me, Elena. As you might know, Vox often does lotteries for a chance to buy their doll. I have applied for this doll five times and lost every time, but not this time. This is Michelle from the boys dormitory line. I can't believe I finally able to hold this box. This new doll is very special to me. Uh, this is the first boy doll in my collection and I have been waiting for him for so long. He is in this beautiful blue box which has some grainy texture on the lid. Here in the front is the big portrait of Michelle. He is holding some astronomical maps. There are also star decorations here and there and the logo of the dormitory is also golden with stars. The dormitory is called Interstellar and it's all about astronomy. There is also a sky background with constellations. There are other boy dolls in this dormitory and all of them are gorgeous. The lower portion of the portrait shows Super Dolphin logo. On the side of the box is another sticker with a little portrait of Michelle and some extra information such as caution information and price, which was 95,700 yen. There is also a note that this doll is for people 15 years and up and it's made in Japan. The first thing laying on the top is different booklets and papers. There is a familiar Super Dolphy guidebook. It contains valuable information about dolls in both Japanese and English languages. This single paper is a Michelle specific one. Just one page, less than we got with Elsa. Here are beautiful photos of the doll, full height and portraits. He looks so cute. A bit lower is a set contents. On the other side is an illustration for the set and the order in which we should dress Michelle up. No wonder, sometimes it's hard to figure out how to do it correctly. Here is also information on how to put on hands and even more doll photos. This time next to him are friends from the dormitory, Maximilian and Rigel. Another paper shows basic information about how to carefully unbox the doll, be careful with the face up and also displays addresses of stores and homecoming servers. This paper gives me the opportunity to order additional hands which are not available to order on the website. I'm definitely gonna do that! Those hands are included separately, they have a neutral gesture. The wig is a bit angled with a collarbone cut. It has an uneven fringe and a beautiful cork brown color. I like this wig and I don't think I'm gonna change it anytime soon. For the top of the head some kind of silicone is used to make the hair more realistic like they are growing from the head. The wig cap is done which won't stain the doll's head. His boots are very unusual. I don't think I have seen a similar star anywhere else but in the dormitory boys. However, I feel like this should be something similar in history, so if you know what these boots are called, please let me know in the comments down below. I love to learn new things. These shoes have a square toe tip and are made of a lacquer black faux leather. On the front they have black lacing. The sole is also black and a bit curved. There is also a little heel. The top line has imitations of the fold. This fold underneath is the same fold leather, but the facing us part is made of a striped black fabric with a thin black lace on edge. Inside shoes are made of a wine fold leather with black insoles. The Vox logo inside is painted in white. Look at this cute little necktie. It is made of a blue satin fabric. I'm so thankful it is not 100% real necktie, as I would struggle with tightening it around Michelle's neck. Thankfully, it is tightened with a black hook. The necktie blade has a school star logo embroidery with a little yellow crown. The edge is also decorated with yellow thread. His knee socks are made of a black stretchy fabric and completely opaque. They also have very cool gates. They are basically made from two strings, a thinner and a thicker one. At the decoration there is also a golden bead at the place where the string connects. 
The beret is very minimalistic. It is gray with a school logo pattern on the front. The logo is star embroidered with yellow and white threads. Attached to it a semi-metallic gold star charm. The lining inside is made of a thinner gray fabric. The top blouse is a sailor type. It has two third sleeves which are a bit puffed. Both cuffs and sailor collar are grey with golden cord decorations. The collar addition has embroidered stars. Underneath it has a grey lining. This blouse fastens on the front with metallic snaps. The blouse has a seam on the back, but I don't really understand why it was needed. His inner blouse is light and made of a semi-transferred white fabric. It is sleeveless but has a standing color with some pretty laces on the edge. On the front the blouse has two rows of pin tucks and two golden beads decorations. The blouse fastens on the front with metallic snaps. Michelle boxers are simple white with a string on the waist area. The school uniform also includes these awesome grey shirts. I like shirts with straps and overalls, so I really like this clothing piece. The shirts have two golden stud decorations on the waist and real pockets. Pocket, pocket. Oh Waist and pockets also have a blue edge decoration. On the right side of blue loops, golden chains are attached. One chain has red and golden beads, another chain has blue and golden beads, and some metallic stars as well. Altogether, they remind me of the sky. These chains can be removed as they are attached with clasps, so you can change them to something else if you want. The pants have pleats and folds. These folds can be unfolded. Shirts also have have blue straps with metallic buckles. These straps are connected on the back with a full leather piece. Shorts have an opening on the left side. Here they are fastened with two metallic snaps and two metallic hooks. Hooks have two loops to pick from to adjust the size. OMG, this cape is so soft. I can't stop touching it. It is made of a blue fabric which reminds me of the suede. On the front there is a gray part frame in a golden cord lace. On each side from the opening three golden studs. The cape fastens on the front with three metallic hoops. The lining inside is a slightly stretchy fabric of a pistachio color. On the sides near the cape's edge are bigger school logos embroidered. They are also framed in golden cords. From the wrong side, around these embroidery parts we can find metallic snaps. It's actually a very smart solution for fixing it around the doll's wrists. Back is a bit gathered with a string and decorated with a golden chain with metallic stars and bead pendants on it. What? Why are you not subscribed yet? It will not only support my channel and my videos, it will also make sure that you won't miss any new videos by me. Pressing the bell button also will help you to get notification as soon as I upload it. His face and this specific face up is what made me fall in love with this doll in the first place. His eyebrows are straight and color match Michelle's wig. The eyes has light smoky eye shadows. Eyelashes are brown and pointing down, which makes his look even sadder. His lips are very full, and through the opened mouth his teeth are visible. Michelle has a cheek blush and his nose is also blushed a little bit on the very tip. I think it is very cute. I think his face mold is very unusual usual, and that is exactly what I like in dolls. I like when they have some unique features. How about you? The doll's eyes are glass eyes of an ash gray color. The skin color is fair. The plate on the back of the head says that this doll is made in 2022 year for the doll party 47, which was this spring. However, I won him during the after event in the website lottery. These dolls were released multiple times before and even in different outfits, but I'm happy to have this specific one. Inside this head I usually glued eyes.
What do you think about my new and only boy? I'm new to the male doll, so I would love to hear if you have any in your collection. I don't think I will stop on this one. Love dolls and Kong Kong.